Hey guys, it's the SBN 001 here for part four of Let's Play Barnyard to 100%. Last time, we did some missions and got some collectibles and all that good stuff. Let's talk to Hannah, because we also entered chapter two. Can you help me get these little ones to bed? Otis usually helps me, but he always keeps them way up past their bedtime. Who is the fastest at getting them in the coop? I'll pay the best babysitter. Ooh, that sounds good. I consider this to be animal abuse. <laughs> I think this could be considered to be animal abuse, but oh well. It's a video game. Could have been called Chucking Chickens and gotten the same point across. Alright, let's go guys. So the goal of this game is to find the chicks all over the barnyard, pick them up, and take them to scoring rings and then throw them all the way into the chicken coop. Because that's not animal abuse at all. You always want to throw them from the purple to give you 20 points. You need like, I think, maybe 120 points or so to get a star for this game. I don't remember the exact score. And the rings change around some too, which is kind of annoying. Otis, you suck. You've only got 5 points and I've got 40. That didn't even go in. Alright, so let's take this one behind the house. Oh, I forgot there's a ring right here. Nice throw. That, that looked kind of painful. That looked like we missed. Ooh, and I see one back here. Uh, let's pick you up, little chicky. Oh, wow, I walked right past it. Come on, get in the circle. Boom. Hmm, Otis has 40 points. Not bad, Mr. Otis. Come on, get back here. And you know, it's kind of funny because you don't even get, like, all the chickens or chicks to the coop anyway, which is kind of funny. And it's really funny how there's milk up on top of the barn, like you'd be going up there for this mission, even though that's there for a different reason anyway. Come on. Oh, what? I am just not focusing today. Maybe I'm on my man period or something, which I remember that was so funny because I feel like it's actually true because... Attacking Toucans, if you've never watched him, he's like a really, really inappropriate Chugga Conroy as sort of his Josh Jepsen. But uh, he's a Nintendo game, primarily Let's Player, but other games as well. And when he was talking, when he was playing a ROM hack of Super Mario 64 called Super Mario Star Road, it was hilarious because there was one entire video about him like being on a man period or something. It was so freaking funny, but it actually seems kind of true when you think about it. Like, do you guys ever have, like, a time of every, like, four to five weeks where you just are really sort of out of it and maybe bad mood and just tired and all that stuff? Because I feel like I'm like that kind of right now. And I never really thought about that until he brought it up. All right, last second shot! Boom! 200 points. Ooh, let's see if we can get... Oh, come on, come on. Get her, get her. Oh, man. I almost had 210 points or 205 points. And a star. Wow, we destroyed Otis. So it is 100 points for a star, and we beat Otis that badly. Beat him by 95 points. All right, let's go. So it's now almost nighttime. We're not going to have time to do another mission. So the chicks had so much fun and they got to bed on time. You're my top babysitter. It was fun. That's another star, boys and girls, and some money. Ooh, it's 9 o'clock. So I think that the farm goes dark at like 9.30 or something, if I remember correctly. Uh, I need to save real quick because I did not save after the last video, which is unfortunate. Unfortunately, there's like no real way to save over multiple uh, slots in this game, like a lot of games. So my, I hope that nothing corrupts on me or anything, because if so, then we'd be kind of screwed and a lot of stuff would not end up getting shown. Alright, so we're going to head out over to this area of the farm and we're going to grab the three notes and the recipe rock here. Pig's Kitchen is only open during the day. At night, you can ask him to make mocktails in the night barn. All right, so that's going to be a note telling us uh, wait until tomorrow to do anything, whatever the last mission was today. 
Uh, let's see what our rock is here. It is chocolate shake. Mm, I love a chocolate milkshake or just milkshake. It's best to be an expert squirter. You need to practice your aiming technique so that you never miss. All right, so we're gonna climb on up, go for hill, and we're gonna grab this other note. This one's a little hard to get to. Ben says that the purchase of human articles from the Gopher Underground is strictly prohibited, but that doesn't stop anyone. Well, duh, because they sell really cool, fun stuff. All right, we've got a lot of spending money, so let's let's start buying some stuff. We'll buy the Bell Punch, Draft Milk, Goat Milk, Molasses, ooh, a smoothie maker. Eh, I'm not a big smoothie person. Honey dispenser, I like that. A cabinet of glasses. Is the dumbwaiter the last item? Nope, it's not. There's two more items. We only need a hundred more, and we'll be able to buy the last of the refreshments, which is kind of awesome because we've already bought almost all the refreshments. That's technically a fifth of the items because there are four other categories of items that we need to buy for the barn. You may want to buy the games... Like, I may end up, I don't know if I'm going to buy the games first or not, because some of them have mini games attached to them, so maybe I will, maybe I won't. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is head into the barn and see what's up here. See what's going on. Looking good. Thank you, so are you, I guess, for a bull. We've collected everything so far. The next area we're going to collect from is the vegetable patch. All right, let's chat with Roots. So we've got the milk bar going up very well. 19% complete. Pig loves all the drink machines you bought. We are we are fully stocked now. Milkweed! Weed. Tee hee. All right, we'll worry about uh, planting those as soon as we get time, but the bar is now basically complete, so... Nothing else is really fixed yet because there's nowhere else really for anyone to sit. There's hardly any games, no dance floor, no good music. We got a dumbwaiter to go upstairs, but we don't need that yet. That ladder disappears at night, I believe, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. That switch disappears at night, but whatever. So, guys, we have now managed to fill out much of the night barn, which is kind of awesome. Okay. Thanks for coming. Next thing to do is to go to sleep until the morning. And then we will be able to do more stuff. So the next thing we're going to buy is the salt lick machine because it'll finish up the refreshments and I won't ever have to go into that category anymore. I know, kind of uh, stupid sounding, but whatever. All right, can I uh, get my message? Yep, vegetable patch. Okay, I believe this is going to be the first round of vegetable patch defender. Which we're going to have to do like four times throughout the course of the game, though I think it only counts for a star once, I believe. It may count twice. I think it only counts once, though. All right, let's head on over to the vegetable patch. And while we're there, we will collect the collectibles there. There aren't very many, so that'll be pretty quick at least. And then we can plant the first milkweed. What is your mission? The raccoons have been stealing the farmer's vegetables. Can you stand guard and squirt them as they come in? They hate getting milk on their fur. And then we throw them out. I have killed, like, a lot of... No, I actually have never killed a raccoon. I don't think I have. I may have, but I don't remember if I have. I've killed a lot of foxes to try to get rid of the fox population at my grandparents' house. It was bad. Like, I was killing quite a few a year, and they just kept coming back. And I think we finally stopped them because we haven't been seeing because they haven't seen them like anymore in the last year or two. So I might have stopped them, but it took like five years. Okay, so what you gotta do is the foxes will basically come in, then you take them, throw them, close it. Uh, you can't lose. You have to lose less than ten vegetables. Uh, during this stage of the game, though, the raccoons won't, like, attack you or anything like they can later. Or they won't attack you, like, as much as they will later. They will still attack you, just not as much, which is very nice. 
So shut the gates whenever you get a chance. And like I said, they will not attack you anywhere near as much as they will in the later levels of this. But you have five lives, so you can't get hit five times. Can't lose more than ten vegetables. Come on in, raccoons. I've got milk for ya. Where you at? There you are. Go away. And closed. There's one over there, and there's one getting in over here. I, wow, I, I can't believe I hit him. I didn't think I hit him. All right, let's just close this gate first. Crap, I think there's one inside with a vegetable. Crap, I lost one. Screw you, you stupid raccoon. Unbelievable, I actually let one get away on the easiest level of this, that's embarrassing. Oh well, we're near the end of the day on this game, which is good. Yeah, this mission gets kind of boring because you're gonna have to do it like three more times or so, which is kind of stupid. All right, we're gonna close that up. And we're gonna throw you and you. Hello. Old chap. Gotcha. Oh, there's one more. Okay, fine. You won't milk too? I'll give it to you. Oh, there's one more. Okay, Mr. Raccoon. Goodbye. And we win. So they managed to get a vegetable, but that's okay. That's okay. We got a star, and that is what matters. Uh, we're also the number one score by like 50 points, which is kind of awesome. Hey, 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 I never saw a raccoon fly before. I don't think they'll be back in a hurry. Please stop by on patrol whenever you have a chance. Obviously, there's no point of that unless they ask you to. And a gold rush token, so I think we've got actually two to use up. All right, uh, those patches of dirt you see around places are places to plant milkweed. Deal more with that a little bit later. So we've got that. And we've got a recipe rock for strawberry fudge. Like I said, allergic, so it kind of sucks for me. And we've got that, talking about mud jumpers, blah, blah, blah. So that's two of the three notes here, and we've got the recipe rock. Where is the last note? Up here, I assume. Or is it down here? Because I think there's one down here. But this will give us a chance. Yeah, here it is. This is technically Ben's Hill, though. Uh, rumor has it the junkyard is full of coyotes. Ben has forbidden anyone from going in there. Got that. And the recipe rock. Strawberry shake. Mmm, that sounds good, except that I'm allergic to strawberries. Oh, well, I'd much rather be, like, allergic to strawberries than, like, chocolate or something. That would freaking suck to be allergic to chocolate. Okay, so to plant milkweed, you go up to one of these spots, and you swap on over to the sunglasses, and spray it. You gotta spray them seven times. And where are we gonna get some more milk at? Oh, there's a note over here too. Okay, so uh, let's grab this note as well. Otis doesn't ride his bike anymore, not since Miss Beatty saw him. Yeah, he told us that earlier in the game. Eventually your milk will refill on its own, but it'll take a while and it looks like we're gonna be stuck with that because I don't see any milk pickups here. It'll only be a short time now until it's ready. Be nice if it was a little bit easier to get back up. There we go. And there's literally like no pickups in the area for milk, which is kind of stupid actually. And we're done. Hit one to get rid of the sunglasses and let's climb. Uh, most of the milkweed leads like to just some extra money, which like this one does. So yeah, there's not much of a point of some of them. But let me just check some stuff off, guys. We've got in everything from the vegetable patch. Got in the rock. Three notes. We've got in another rock. 
and another note. So, making good progress. All right, let's start climbing the hill. We've got another note here. There are 64 messages. We found like 21 of them, so that's not bad. And it looks like Ben is up here to talk to us anyway, so this is perfect placement. So that's one of the notes. Uh, let's get another note right over here. Uh, Duke says to get a high score in Barnyard Pool, you have to shoot straight and win by as many balls as possible. That could still be taken wrong, but I don't feel like clouding anyone's mind today. And a recipe rock. Apple juice. Ooh, I actually do like apple juice. So I've gotten, I believe, two more notes and one more rock, so I'm just going to check those off. So there should be one more rock in the area, and I know where it is. I don't remember exactly where the notes are, but we'll worry about that in a minute. I believe this is going to be another round of Shark Squirter. It's a beautiful view, isn't it? This is my favorite spot on the farm. Anyway, I thought you could use a little more Shark Squirter practice. Sounds good. Let's do it. Even though we have to do it like two more times after this, I think. Let's go. Do 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 do. Triple kill. And one more. Oh, that was bad. Ooh, yeah, I hope my score is going to be good enough for a star up here. Got both of those. How did I miss that one? Looks like the last five are down the hill. Crap. Come on, cowman, hit him. Oh, that sucks. Wow, my score may not be that good this time. I kind of messed this one up. Did it kind of slowly, sloppily, missed a lot of targets, stuff like that. Not a good thing. What? Okay, that wasn't my fault. That was actually like a glitch or something. Come on. Alright, we got over 300 points, so we're going to be fine. Alright, 600 points. Wow, uh, we beat Otis by 150 points. That's pretty embarrassing for Otis because I didn't even think that was that good of a run. Well done. You're a fine young cow. I wish my son Otis was like you. Otis is okay. We'll see. Stay inside the perimeter of the fence at all times. And money! Ooh, there's no more missions to do today, meaning that we have some time to get some Gold Rush tokens done. We have two to do right now and collectibles to get today. Oh, I shouldn't have parked my bike that far back. That was not good. That just wasted like a tenth of my time. Yeah, you can see the other recipe rock sort of. You might have seen it right there for a second. Uh, that was not being a little sloppy here. I'm only gonna record like one more today. All right, we got all 100. That's good. Let's head on back up one more time and get 100 more gopher bucks. And then tonight, we will buy the last refreshment, the Salty Lake Machine. All right, let's clamber up the hill, clamber up the hill and the mountain. And I think that's like a song or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so it's only like 11 o'clock during the day, so we got like almost 12 hours in the game right now to do whatever we want until tonight, which will probably involve some sleeping. That was really bad. But, you know, it eh, that wasn't that bad, actually. All right, let's go. Got all that money, and we should end up with a decent run of this level. Do, 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 
I missed one. Congratulations. I thought I did well that time. Okay, fine. I guess that we will just be collecting whatever lays around in this area. 99. Well, that's quite unfortunate. We missed a gopher buck. All right, let's go ahead and get the notes and the rocks in the area. We've got a note here. Otis has found five spots in the area to practice his super squirt. We haven't technically learned about that yet, so spoilers. I think we'll learn about that fairly soon, but we haven't really learned it yet, so yeah. That's a note. And a note, Peck worries about Freddy sometimes. Freddy has been getting these urges. That was like a running gag in the TV series and stuff. Uh, get more into that later on, I guess, when we actually have to deal with it. Everyone says that Everett the dog is so old he looks like he could use a vacation. That's going to be playing into the game a little bit later on as well. And the recipe rock is right over here. But guys, we are running out of time, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. And next time, we... Wow, I've already found half of the recipes. Nice. So we found like a quarter total. Next time, we'll be seeing what awaits us tonight. See you guys then.